In the 1980s, Mildred Pratt was a social work professor at Illinois State University. She uh, sent the students out to do some uh, interviews, basically to look into medicinal practices. And what they found was they were coming up with these incredible stories. Mama worked out in service for two families, Dr. Brown, who lived about five blocks from us. Really kind of decided at some point, this is really an important story that needs to be told, the story of the African-American community. August 7th, 1985, um, Mrs. Uh, Lucinda Posey is being interviewed. She had no idea where this was going to go when she started. I was born here in Bloomington in 1923. Um, I live at 601 East Oakland Avenue. It's just an absolute treasure trove of of material that offers a window into the past that other resources are not going to. For about 15 or 20 years off the lawn. Which hospital was that? Uh, St. Joseph. St. Joseph. What was your position there? Nurses' aid. Nurses' aid. Okay. And at one time they didn't even hire blacks for nurses' aids. Would you believe that? Is that right? Right. When did they begin to hire blacks? Uh, let's see. It was probably back in after the war, I after see. the First World War, I mean Second World War. Second World War, yes. Uh -huh. All right. If you're not telling your story, who will? Right? You want to be able to tell that story for yourself to make sure that it's told in a proper way. It's called a normal theater, and they tried to uh, put my cousin up in the balcony, and I was a young man about uh, six two, very fair but you could tell he was colored. And he refused to go, and this, this white student from Illinois State was going to put him up for anyone. Oral history is one avenue. It's one more piece of understanding people's lives. When you hear it from people themselves who have actually lived those experiences, right, uh, that's all, that, that, that can be a game changer, right? My father, was born in Barbersville, Kentucky. His mother was a slave girl in the big house. Everyone should have a voice. Everyone should have a, um, an opportunity uh, of expression. That's who we are. That's what makes us a nation, a free nation. Um, and to be able to share those stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah.